I'm gonna give y'all everything I got, bro. Every last bit. I'm gonna give it to you today. Heath Evans, Heath Evans. The reason I'm saying that, G fam, is because if you guys, if you guys are a subscriber to the uh, Stone Cold podcast, which I was just listening to, Heath Evans brought up uh, all he was naming all the quarterbacks he's been with. I think like Hasselbeck and, of course, Drew Brees. Then he gets to Tom Brady. Okay, so if you're just a long time subscriber of mine, since like my video I made about Tom Brady being Tom Baby, Tom Crybaby, you know exactly how I feel about Tom Brady. <laughs> Tom Brady to me, man, yes, he's undoubtedly right now the best in the game. I'm not knocking him. The dude's a future Hall of Famer without a doubt. I can't stand the team. I can't stand him. But one thing I do appreciate about Tom Brady is Bill Belichick because I feel like you know there's that debate you know could Tom Brady be Tom Brady without Bill Belichick could Bill Belichick be Bill Belichick without Tom Brady could Tom Brady be the same quarterback if he went to say the Jets or if he went to the Browns or if he went to Jacksonville or Tennessee or well, Washington, Buffalo, you name a team. Could Tom Brady be the same? Who, could Tom Brady have five Super Bowl rings if he went to those teams that I mentioned? You know, but to me, it's like, yes, Tom Brady right now, like I said, is Tom Brady right now is the best quarterback in the game. You know, I would say Aaron Rodgers is the close second, and then Drew Brees are the top three. Are the, those guys are the top three quarterbacks in the game, and I respect Without a doubt, I respect them all. I respect Tom Brady, but I don't like Tom Brady because I feel like, you know, it goes back to the whole, he's always looking for a flag. He's always looking for some sort of reason why uh, a defensive lineman or a linebacker or a safety or corner comes in his face and knocks him on his ass. And he and it rattles his brain a little bit and he's like, whoa, ref, where's the flag? I mean, come on, where he hit me? He pulled my face mask, ref, like, ref is like, Bro, chill out. He didn't even touch you. Like, like the fuck. Like, the fuck. Like, the fuck. Like, the fuck. <laughs> you know, I just wanted to make a quick little video on this. Please listen to the podcast with Stone Cold uh, if you're a wrestling fan like I am. Stone Cold has a podcast called The Steve Austin Show. Look it up on uh, podcast1.com or the podcast uh, app on your phone for iPhone users, I believe. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, but Tom Brady right now, like I said, is one of the best of all time. Shit, why did I fucking say that? He's not the best of all time. I take that back. That's the point I'm trying to get to. I don't know why I'm rambling. The point of this video is that I'm so sick and fucking tired of everybody I know and everybody around me, you know, football-wise, saying that Tom Brady is the best of all not, I'm sorry, not the best. He's the greatest of all time, the GOAT. Tom Brady's the GOAT. No the fuck he's not. Like, you're gonna disrespect guys like fucking Joe Montana.